Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy, and today we're going to be talking about how to publish a picture book. So a little while ago we did a video on how to publish a children's book, I'll leave a link to that in the cards, um, but today we're going to focus in on picture books. You can check out our Reedsy learning course if you want to learn more on publishing a picture book. It's a free course, um, it has so much more information than just this video, but today I'm just going to give kind of a quick general overview and highlight the key things that you need to know. Now picture books are often written to market. This means they follow trends and themes that have proven to be popular and sell well. This isn't to discourage creativity, but it's to appeal to a very young audience, and if you know kids, kids know what they like. If they like a book, they want to read that same book over and over and over, or at least something very, very similar. So for that reason, picture books often fall into familiar themes to appeal to a very young audience. Common themes for picture books are fairy tales or redone fairy tales, everyday scenarios like going to school or playing with other kids, friendship, adventure and imagination, and new baby sibling. When you're writing a picture book, make sure to leave room for the illustrator. <laughs> writing a picture book is almost like writing a screenplay in this regard. You have to make room for collaboration. Don't leave notes for the illustrator, and cut written details that can be shown through the illustrations. The illustrator is going to bring their own individual flair to the book, and you need to allow them space to do their part of the book. It's a collaboration. Many people also believe that picture books should rhyme, and this is not necessarily true. Rhyming picture books can be very difficult to write, so unless the cadence is absolutely perfect, it's probably best to shy away from a rhyme scheme. You also don't need to paginate your story. The illustrator or editor will break up the text into groupings, what they feel works best on each individual page. Now what about publishing? Let's talk a bit about traditional publishing first and what that process looks like. We've got a whole video on traditional publishing versus self-publishing and figuring out which is the best route for you, so you can check that out in the cards but today I'm going to highlight some differences in the process that exist for picture books. Pros here are wide distribution and exposure, higher production value, advance against sales, fewer upfront costs, and if you're lucky, some marketing help. The cons are that there are a lot of gatekeepers you have to go through, so the process is very slow and it can be difficult to get there. You don't have input over the illustrations, and the royalties are very low. If you're going the traditional publishing route, you will need to find an agent, which you can do through writing a query letter. I'll leave a link to our video on writing a query letter in the cards. If you're querying, have two to three other manuscripts ready and polished. If the agent likes your work, they want to know what else you have ready. If you're an illustrator as well, or you've already partnered with an illustrator, you can query a dummy. A dummy is a mock-up of the entire book, with rough sketches, text layout, and one to two final illustrations to show what the illustration style will look like. However, generally you won't be submitting with illustrations, and you'll probably be working with an illustrator later down the line. Now what about self-publishing a picture book? Pros include a faster time to publication. You have total control over the production. So you get to choose your illustrator yourself and you have final say over all the design elements. It's easier to implement changes and you keep a higher percentage of the royalties. The cons are that there are more upfront costs. You have to pay for editing and illustration and design yourself. You also have to handle distribution and also keep in mind that self-published picture books make up a very small percentage of the market at the moment, so in the current publishing landscape it might be a bit harder to get your book out there. Now one of the key differences with self-publishing versus traditional publishing is that you'll have to handle the illustrations yourself, meaning you'll have to find your own illustrator. You'll want to find an illustration style that works for your book and works for the tone and feel of your book. I'll put up some examples of different illustration styles so you can get a feel for what they look like. When you find an illustrator that you want to work with, such as maybe on our Reading Marketplace where we have lots of illustrators, contact them with a title and brief synopsis, a budget or ask for a quote, a timeline, and your manuscript. Now very few illustrators will work for royalties because that means banking on your book's success, so generally you're going to be working from a flat fee up front. Keep in mind that illustrating an entire book is a lot of work, so this is a cost that will run into several thousand dollars, probably at least four thousand. Now the good news here is that you probably won't be spending as much on editing as a longer book because there are so few words in your book, but the illustration costs here can be quite a lot because it's a lot of work to illustrate an entire book. Your book's designer will also probably work from a flat fee less than the illustrator, probably around 1000 to 1500 Now what the designer does is handle typography and basically just cohesiveness of all the different design elements. Print-on-demand services will be the most likely route you'll want to go for printing and distribution, since print-on-demand services mean that you don't have to pay for excess copies. One will be printed every time one is ordered. It's also very easy to do distribution through your print-on-demand service. Print-on-demand service Surfaces also give you access to different online distributors. So that's everything on publishing a picture book for this video. Remember, if you want to learn more, you can check out our Reads You Learning course. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to subscribe for new writing, editing, and publishing videos every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye!